Hi, I'm Cindy Gay, and welcome to another rug cooking moment. Today I'm going to talk about my strip sorters, and this is how they come when you buy them. They are a set of 15 rings. There are three sets of five um, attached to a three-inch ring. So here is one that I've already taken apart. And here's the grouping, but you can see this is one group of five rings. It actually counts as a sixth ring if you count this one. And to put the strips on, the most important thing to remember is that you have to take it completely apart. You cannot leave it attached to this and get the strip on properly. So we're going to take it apart. And with our cut strips, simply lay them on the ring. Close it. And if you can grab the sleeve like this, you've got it right. And all we want to do is think sock. Turn it inside out. <laughs> That's Gracie. Turn it inside out, and you've got your storage ready to go. From here, all you need to do is to pull out one strip at a time. It works wonderfully, and what I love about it is that you can take a whole set, throw them, Miss Grace, over here, Throw them into your um, hooking bag and they stay nice and neat. Another way that you think that you can do is when you're um, cutting your strips, you might not want to cut at all. Simple safety pin, add that there, and then add that ring to your entire thing. Everything stays together. You've got your piece if you need it to get it cut. You know where it's at. You don't have to go looking for it. Um, but yet you're not cutting up all your wool at once. You can organize your strips. Let's say, for instance, I wanted to say this one, this one, and this one belong to one particular flower. I could put those together, put them on one of the individual rings, and then add that to here. So I'll know exactly what it is. But there's one other step that I like to follow. I love these little paper metal tags. They're kind of old-fashioned, um, and I get them at Staples. You can get them almost anywhere. They're a little on the expensive side as far as um, tags go, and I like the ones, whoops, for this, I like the ones with the ring rather than the, paper, the string tag. I can write on here because this is paper. Add that to that. I'll always know exactly what that is for and then I can add it on here. I can group as many things as I need to. I can even put a big one on here if I wanted to. Um, but the important thing is that everything for one rug is all in one spot. And you've got it nice and neat and it's together. It's not thrown to the wind and separate. If you do swatches, let's say that kind of looks like a swatch. Let's say this was a swatch. What I'll typically do is grab one that's number two and add number one and number three to each end and to this one. Add that there. Put that on the end. And now I have the swatches and they stay perfectly in order. They never get out of order. If you wanted to add those to one of your big rings, you can then just take one, one end and slide that through and have your swatches there. I like to take them off when I'm cooking, kind of get them where they need to go, shake them out, and then I can actually lay this right at the top of my frame and I can pull out the strips as I'm needing them. All in all, it's the best solution I've found so far. You can get them on my website and order them just like that. Get organized today.